Hello and if you're new to my channel my name is Jade. Today I am going to be picking the grapes that I've been growing here in my community garden. I have been growing these Zinfandel grapes so it is a wine grape variety and I'm gonna try to make wine. This is just part one where I'll be harvesting the grapes and crushing them and just getting the process started. <laughs> So let me just show you the grape tree itself. It's right next to me here. I think somebody has been stealing my grapes uh, because I also have one of my watermelons, which was ready to pick. that has been taken. So be careful with your gardens. If they're like in a publicly accessible place, if it's a community garden, you always want to trust everybody that you're around, but sometimes people can get at your stuff or even birds can and like other pests. So always be careful but to get back to the grapes they're right here and to show you they are very much ripe and ready not only have they gone through Veraison but they've also plumped up a little bit and they're ready a little early because it has been very hot in northern California and we've had a heat wave so you know that's something that's definitely impacted the growth of these grapes and it has made it go a lot faster so be very aware that sometimes you can have your grapes ripen before they might be ideal and have the most water and size because of the weather conditions that's just because of the amount of sun that they were getting that's the first bunch of grapes just picked i have just put the camera down on um the side of the raised bed hopefully this isn't too ridiculous but yeah that's my first bunch which i I've just snipped off. I just used some kitchen scissors to do so. over how beautiful she is. Look at her. For step two, I put my grapes in a sterilized container removed from the stems and added a Camden tablet after I crushed them to sterilize the juice. Hello friends and welcome to day two of this process. I have here my lovely wine must inside this two gallon bucket. I have a little stopper here just to stop any air getting to it right now. I used one Camden tablet and I crushed it up into the must yesterday when I was busy squishing it. My camera had died and so that is why I didn't record any of that. I have this yeast here. This is a wine making yeast but uh, any yeast should be fine, like bread making yeast is also okay, I believe. Um, and I'm gonna use this whole packet, even though I don't have a lot of wine. Uh, apparently, if you use the full packet of wine yeast, that will create the kind of minimum amount needed for a healthy fermentation. I wanted to just address that I do have an absolutely tiny amount of juice. I don't even know if this will end up making me a full bottle of wine. Um, but I think that the the mindset I have going into this is that I'm kind of okay if I only get like a sip of wine. I just really want to say that like, I grew grapes and that I created wine entirely from the grapes that I personally uh, took the time to grow and that is my main goal in all of this is to learn something new and to be able to say I made something out of the fruit that I grew. I'm gonna go ahead and get myself a quarter cup of warm water. I'm gonna try and get it to around 100 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to add in a packet of wine yeast 
wait for about 20 minutes before I incorporate it into the wine must. This is going to take a while all in all so this is a big adventure for potentially the smallest amount of wine anyone has ever made. I thought I would show you what the wine must is looking like. That is with the yeast mixed in. I mixed the yeast with some warm water, uh, about a quarter cup, and put it into the wine must. The lid is going to go on here and because it's going to produce CO2 gas, I'm going to make sure that I attach the tubing which I have uh, to the top and then I am going to make sure that that isn't causing any danger and obviously that it isn't going to explode, which it might if it had a completely closed lid. So now this is going to go to a stable location where it's in a generally cool temperature out of the sun and yeah, I'm just going to put it away in the corner of a room.